That's right, Chris, Laura, just to kind of paint you guys a picture of what we've been seeing out here tonight, there are really a lot of children who live here in this neighborhood, and up until about 20 minutes ago, they were all outside here playing ball, giggling, laughing. They've since gone inside because it's getting dark and it's getting late, but it was an odd sight to see as police officers stand guard and crime scene tape surrounds these homes. Officers tell us that they've been searching here since this afternoon when they got a tip uh, to come to this address here at 100th and Hardesty. Now, they haven't said exactly what that tip was or who it came from. The woman who owns the home said she's only lived here for about four years, and she says she got a knock on the door two weeks ago from police saying that they were investigating a woman's disappearance. And then today, they started digging. It's scary and it's shocking. Hopefully, it'll bring closure to another family. Now, Laura Mason disappeared back in March of 1993, and she was 45 years old at the time. Now, neighbors tell us they did not know the woman, and they have no idea why police are here in their neighborhood searching now at this home. Police have not told us whether or not they have indeed found a body, but they are still here on scene. I did ask them how much longer they plan to be out here tonight. They told me that they do plan to stop tonight and they will resume in the morning if needed. They also tell me that they used dogs, cadaver dogs, in this search. Reporting live in KC Mo, Keisha Henry, KMBC 9 News.